happened when we launched this platform, I'm gonna talk about it in a second, is we've been kind of growing like this, and we're gonna hit a point and we're just gonna grow like that, we're gonna start adding in thousands of people a day, especially when we go into other languages and things, right? What I want you to realize is what's gonna happen to Tony Rush's income and Aaron Rashkin's income and Vic's income and Tracy Walker's income and your income if you make a decision right now when that happens. It's a big, big deal to take action right now. And normally I wouldn't inspire people by fear. <laughs> but you might want to realize you're in a special place at a special time right now and take a little bit more action than normal if you understand what I just said. And if you don't, just think about it all night and you'll figure it out later in the day. Maybe it'll be a hallucination in the middle of the night and an angel will appear to you, I don't know. <laughs> Not that I'm suggesting that. <laughs> So we've got 60 days, right? What do we have the opportunity to do for the next 60 days? What? Ramp it, Ramp it up, right? We have the opportunity to create pre-launch hype. Now, for those of you that are resistant to that, I want you to realize something that uh, hype sells, right? Probably better than selling techniques. Truthfully, <laughs> right? Uh, we have the opportunity to create a frenzy. A frenzy of activity, a frenzy of blog posts, a frenzy of growth leading up to it, okay? The best thing you could possibly do for your organization is between now and the next 60 days, bring in several hundred people, at least, personally, right? If you're really on it. Some of you guys can bring in several hundred people in the next 60 days, right? Who in here, though, could bring in at least 60 people in the next 60 days? What do you think? Oh, come on, come on, folks. Everybody should be raising their hands. Come on. Okay. We have the opportunity to create a frenzy. I'm just sitting here getting pumped up, honestly. Right? Dave. Now, how do you create a frenzy? Well, let me give you an example of the, one of the best frenzies I've ever seen created, because it was recent. We did it, too, right? But I want to talk about Vic for a second. Right? Who in here thinks Vic is just awesome? Give him a hand. You haven't even heard him speak. Either. Oh, come on, give Vic a hand. Come on, folks. Right. So, what did Vic do from my perspective? Right? He had a loyal subscriber base. Right? He got him on a webinar and he said, guys, something big is coming. Right? That was the essential message of that first webinar. I think it was three hours, but that was the essential message of it, right? Something big is coming, and you get to be a part of history, right? Something big is coming, you get to be a part of history, right? You get to be part of a mastermind, of a movement, of a change in the way marketing's done. You get to be a part of something special, an inner circle, a private group, right? That language sound familiar at all? Well, what happened? Well, he did a webinar, and based on the idea of the future, based on what was going to come, based on what was gonna happen in the future, those people in his team went bonkers, right? How did he make two, two point something million dollars in the last six months? A big list with a lot of influence and that, right? And his funnel's good and he delivered on what he said he'd do, like we're gonna do, right? The next 60 days are our opportunity to create frenzy. Okay, and we're going to lay out through the weekend a little bit more on how, right? Who in here was a part of Empower Network's pre-launch? You guys remember that? You remember it? Who else was a part of the pre-launch? Just scream out. There's only a few of you in the room. There's only a handful of people, right? We got up there, and what did we do for about five weeks? We talked about something big we're going to do. We talked about pulling people together for a private mastermind. We talked about what's coming in the future and what the problems are in the industry. We talked about the success that we've already created over the last few years. We talked about the vision and the dream and the problems people have been having, and we invited people to a private gathering, right? Well, what happened is that pre-buzz that we created, right, resulted in a group of people that weren't just there, that by the time they were there, 
took us about a month and a half, two months. I had a list. It wasn't even that big. I think my list was like 18,000 people when we launched in power. It wasn't that large. Some, a lot of you in the room have larger lists than I still have on my personal list. I think Dave had like 10,000 people on his list when we launched. It wasn't that, it, guys, it wasn't that large. We had like 37 people in a room. Guess how many of them got all in? 37. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We did a live stream like seven days later or something like that, right? We couldn't take orders because the site didn't work. Now we're going to have actually like a multi-million dollar platform when we're launching this one, right? The site didn't work and we couldn't take orders, so we told people to fax their order forms in. <laughs> yeah, who are we going to do for the next 60 days? Gather as many people as possible to slam. Between now and then, we're going to be running contests. We're going to be announcing more details of all the contests tomorrow. We'll have most of the details of everything before you guys leave. There will be new member contests running from now to the launch, video contests, all of it, right? Our goal is to provide you with the tools, okay, the resources, the knowledge that you need to take advantage of what's going to happen. My goal for you is whatever your goal is, okay? And I don't care how big it is. Vic had a goal of making a million a month, okay? He already said it, he said it yesterday by November 31st, right? Before I just told you that, that might have been a little bit of a stretch for Vic. Not anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if he did it in September. Okay? The question is, what will you do? What will you do? I had a friend, last story I'm gonna tell you, his name's Randy, and uh, Randy got involved in a company when the company had right around what we've got, a little under 50,000 active, uh, actually it was under 30,000 active reps, it was about the same in the 50,000 something customers, right? But the company was on a cusp of explosion. He got in, became the number one recruiter, right? Built an income to about 120,000 a month, had a falling out with the company owners and stopped building the organization at all, just sat on it. He thought the organization would go from 100,000 to nothing, right? Probably like Lawrence thought that would happen to his income here when he went off and was building another deal. By the way, I'm not insulting Lawrence. I'm telling this, you know, he knows that I tell this story. It's a great story. He's back. What other company has gotten their leaders back who have gotten distracted, right? What other company has had people focus back on the message after they've left? No Nobody. Some of you guys have been around direct sales before. This guy stopped building his organization at all. His income went from 100,000 a month to 350,000 a month because he did it before the state of explosion. State of explosion adds ability to do what we do by 10 times, right? And I'm gonna suggest to you, and I want you to really listen to me, that what you do right now matters more than it will ever matter by a factor of 10. And I want you to realize the space that you're in and get ready to go frickin' crazy. Who's with me? Who's with me? Who wants to make it Power Network most powerful force in network marketing? I think uh, uh, we're um, supposed to stay up on stage. So guys, power, the year of Empower. 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 You guys are awesome. Guys, give yourselves a big round of applause. Make some noise. We're about to blow up.